guys, Max here with Hardwater Freaks. Today I want to take a little step back and go back to the basics. Today's basics tips is going to be how to set up a tip up. So a quick little clip here on how I like to set up my tip up for fishing for northern pike, walleye and things like that. So this is your traditional Frable Thermal 10 inch tip up, good for putting over a 6, 8 or 10 inch hole. So the first thing you want to do is if you're not using a sonar, is to go ahead and try to find your depth. Now for me, I like to go ahead and use forceps, and you'll see why in a second. So drop down the hole. You can obviously also use depth weights. And you go ahead and you find, as soon as you find the bottom, you can all use all sorts of different marking devices. I like to use a white button or blue button it really doesn't matter but I like to use a button and I slide that button all the way on the line down until I feel the bottom then I slide the button to where it meets the water level so right there is my bottom now because when I set this tip up the shaft right here when it's all the way down I figure about six to eight inches off that button. So I'll grab the button right at that water level, so it's here, and I'll slide it six to eight inches down. Now I know that when the button is on the spool and the tip up is set up, I'm actually touching bottom then. From there, I'll feed up. So when I'm walleye fishing, it's six to 18 inches. When I'm pike fishing, it'll probably be three feet. So we'll say that this is pike fishing. We'll go roughly about three feet down more with the button. Let that back down the hole. Now you want to reel the spool back up to that button again. So there's my button. Button is now at the spool. Now I can pull all the line up. Now remember when I was talking about that forceps, the reason I like to use the forceps is I know when I mark bottom that my hook's actually here. So I'm for sure above that sand grass level, which is usually six to 12 inches, but this gives me a six inch buffer to make sure that for sand grass and them low lying dead weeds, I'm riding above that. Then I go ahead, I hook my minnow, put it all back down. Obviously set my flag. And there's two settings on these. One's stiff, one's real easy. The easy side has a lean to it, the other side is just flat. Now say I'm fishing where you are, the camera, okay? Say I'm fishing there, I always take my tip up, put it down, put it underneath, and I have this side facing me so I can see where my tip up is easy, but then I trigger it a couple times just to make sure it's not gonna get caught on anything or catch up, I'll trigger it. And what I'm mainly looking for is that when it's up, my flag is broadside to where I'm fishing. So I hope this was able to boost your knowledge on how to set up a tip up. This is a very beginner exercise and a beginner tips and tricks video on the basics, how to set up with a Frable 10 inch thermal tip up. Thanks freaks.